Welcome to Janganu again. And uh, I think most of you have been seeing a lot of these interviews we've done, you know, from people like Carl Gabriel, Matthew Phillips, Ali Pretty, to all that. And with a special women carnival women session, we've got somebody who's very special. And she's sort of like a funding officer, but not really. She's like an artist, but not really. She's like a parent, but not really. She does all those like, you know. So anyway, before I start messing about and actually saying the wrong things, ladies and gentlemen, here is our guest today. And it's Angela Chapo from the Ascans of England. Hello. Hello, Pax. Great to see you. Great to be back in the real world again. Yes, we are back in the real world, aren't we? And also, I was just going to say also, glad you are back on Janganu because we've interviewed you before. So this is chapter... Yeah, I mean, I've, I've missed John Canoe, actually. Um, I could have done with a bit of a carnival fix in the last six to eight months. I've been a lot of work inside, doing a lot of paperwork, typing. So oh, no. I've missed seeing other people and carnivalists and on the street and all the creativity. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's uh, it's been one of those worlds, really. Because even when we look back, somebody says to me, "Oh, where did you play? Or when did you do this carnival?" Those two years seem to be like sort of like blanked somehow, like censored Definitely. type of thing. And I, I've been to Preston Caribbean Carnival earlier on in the year, um, the first carnival, but I've not been able to get to many others because of the workload that we have at the Arts Council whilst we're. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get you bright now. We're going to talk about carnival. What I'm going to do, Angela, is I'm going to surprise you with some videos. We can talk about it. You can guess. You cannot guess. And some of them might be miles away from England. Some of them might be actual behind your house. So let's see. <laughs> yes, yes, like yes. <laughs> <laughs> behind you, your neighbor. <laughs> Any guess where this will be? <laughs> Huh? That looks like Hackney Carnival to me, or it could be Bristol. Now this, this comes back to what you are saying, right? You see that? Oh yes. This is David, one of the oldest um, carnival people in Hackney, and, yes. uh, and Christina. Uh, so I mean, I think it's quite interesting that you mentioned pioneers because these guys are pioneers, and if we don't document them, what we are doing now. Uh, we won't have anything about them. So that's David, uh, that's their daughter there, and that's Christina. Where is Christina? These are actually most of the kind of bands in Hackney came out of Biraha. Yeah. There she is. Ah, I can't see her party. Yeah, so that's Christina there. And Biraha, we have funded their work for quite a few years. They used to come in every year for Hackney and Notting Hill activity. And there's a lot of really long established carnival groups and troops. And I think a lot, some of them are struggling coming back with the membership, or as you say, there's been deaths, um, whether or not to carry on in the memory of the people that founded them or start new groups. And I mm. think they're difficult decisions for people to make. Yeah, that's, that is it really. So going about the pioneers, as I'm hoping because I've been sort of encouraging people to apply, but not just apply for the costumes. They need to apply about archiving some of their work. And one of the things I'm doing in a, as part of Black History Month, I'm going to publish a Lincoln's book that I did. So that's going to be oh, coming brilliant. out in October. Ah, yes. Okay. So this here is credit to you practice. because this project, I did a project where I got Lincoln to work and mentor three, four carnival groups. So we had uh, Para Carnival, we had Hoxton, we had Jambule, and I can't remember the other one. This was something that was funded from your grants. Yes. So, so we, d we did the whole project. He worked with all these three, but that became like sort of, even in my book now, we are using that as case studies. See, Absolutely. Lincoln's book, I put in those three groups as case studies, and then like the people who worked with him and what they achieved. And Lincoln was quite vital because, I mean, that was just before COVID come out. We didn't know what was going to be happening. Mm. But as I say, I worked with Lincoln in the 1980s. He was teaching us skills in other parts of the country. He certainly from an artistic point of view he was highly skilled and lots of techniques that people now use all the time that he probably invented or pioneered in the first place and certainly particular looks 
the splendor of, of his work. So that's the pioneers we need to be honoring, really. And then now, now I saw you, I saw you wearing a costume. And yes. I say, where did that costume come from? What does it remind me of? And I'll tell you what it reminded me of. Here we go. I like shocking you all the time, every inch I of the I don't think day. I'm that shockable because it's not, <laughs> I know I wear costumes, maybe other people don't. You see that? That was when we were, uh, oh, was that in Manchester? Yeah. Manchester Mela. Manchester Mela. Mm. That's right. And that was with global groups. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was a beautiful parade. It uh, was and really... those costumes also get worn at night and they have lights inside them as well. So, <laughs> yeah, no, that what I'm just saying on that mela there, the carnival element was so colorful. The stoot walkers, you also had a dinosaur. You, yeah, it was so fun for me. Yeah. I think it was like really what some of this place to be. And you also got these guys in their chairs walking around, chatting with kids and doing some really fun oh, the stuff. Grandpas. Yeah. The two grandpas, yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it is really important because carnival is also celebrated in in lots of other outdoor events and festivals in particular. It's really popular. I mean, Notting Hill was, uh, and you know that because you were at um, Glastonbury this year, and yeah. Notting Hill Carnival was for the first time, and that's fantastic because it's such a celebratory art form. It's a natural place to be at other festivals, showing people different cultures. And music and dance—it's really important. Uh, and then also, I think one of the most crucial things is also the collaborations. Uh, oh, massively collaborations! The collaborations. Are, we sort of like really sort of with global carnivals. We've been trying to do a lot of this. I think you know, there's a year where we brought in these twelve Brazilians here, and they played still yeah. pan, and then uh, you know they did an exchange. But that, to tell you the truth, that came out of a first collaboration that i did when i was in the arts council yeah so we sent mary to brazil to pernambuco and she ran some workshops there and the amazing thing is there's now because there was never people never seen a steel pan in where we were in pernambuco and there's a young man who actually learned how to play the steel pan <laughs> there she taught all of them still fun but this young man Otevia he just took it completely serious that they to live there in with the pan and he plays most some of the emotions like they they just want to change it sounds really good with the pan though I've never heard that combination yeah and that's a beauty of carnival as well it's very interesting to collaborate this is from So that was, I mean, originally, I think that time where we, when I was the Arts Council, like we had 10 people going in different places. And Mary from Culture Mix, she's the one who went there. And then she's the one who taught that young man. So when I was the actual there, I was negotiating for them to come to England. And that whole band, you see, they, they came to England. And then they, I remember, I think when I was speaking to one of the judges at Notting Hill saying, they were listening to Raspo. And they couldn't understand what was so different from what they were doing with the other steel bands. But what it is, is the whole percussion part of it was Brazilians. Oh, fantastic. So these collaborations, I think, I mean, they work a lot. I don't know what's happened with the Ascans. Have you still got that international visit thing? We have Developing Your Creative Practice is a fund for artists, which can ah. include international travel, but it doesn't have that in the title. The previous fund was the Artists International Development Fund. So people can apply and develop a new creative practice. 
Um, yeah, I'm, and I'm it's really it interesting because John Canoe uh, TV was very, very helpful um, for people's awareness of other artists and international work because don't forget, we really haven't really had carnival in it's usually February, March, springtime, mm -hmm. and we were still in lockdown this year. So it's only, you know, it started to come out, but it wasn't in its fullest form. Well, talking about travel, I mean, the thing is, we, we try to feature everything, really. I think some of the stuff has been stuff like, for example, when I entered Abuja, uh, I was actually filming, but on the basis that I'm going to have to use this and share to people what these people do. So, you know, I tend to go to different places. So I was in Nigeria, where I was asked by the British Council to mentor the Abuja Carnival, and I did. And I also witnessed some really very, very exciting carnival. This is like really carnival like you don't know. Because they do the river regatta, and all the boats get decorated. They got these different beautiful colors. And then I was one of the judges. So we judged the movement they are doing, the songs that they have to do, and all that. And Abuja Carnival is different from other carnivals, because Abuja Carnival so I did go there and I saw some many exciting stuff. So what you're going to see there are two clips of some of the musical stuff. That's great seeing that on a boat, carnival and boats. Yeah, so just like little two clips there. So the first one is that one. Being a music person, of course, I take notice of the music. It's just like the Savannah in Trinidad. Yeah, but this is the Parliament Square. Uh, wow. So they do the procession, then it ends up in there. This, this is my best. Wow. Yes, put up in the southern part of the Emirates, and they are in charge of the southern part. You can see. He has his people to show that arm and can accommodate right. everybody. The video I couldn't find, which would have given you a bit of memory, was the Cape Town Carnival. I got a really good video. Oh, Cape... yeah. I showed it before in Jangani, people loved it, but I, I couldn't find it. I was going to surprise you with that one there. Because that was one of the carnivals yeah. you went to. Yeah. I, when I went to Cape Town Carnival in 2017, they had a their theme was um, the streets. And I think I was wearing a traffic cone <laughs> and lots of fluorescent <laughs> jackets, things like that. Yeah. I was trying to take photos as well as actually um, watch the parade. And it, and I hope Cape Town Carnival is still happening um, because it yeah, was a really happening. lovely carnival. Yeah. And it's lovely, lovely, welcoming people. So anyway, so my advice to... Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, what would be your advice to any of these artists like that who really want... To do they are talented but they've got no clue at all about the funding system well the the funding system is there for people whether they're established or emerging um it's highly competitive at the moment putting in applications so you've got lots of people who are very experienced writing applications but as i say we've got a new form so you need to read the questions quite carefully and fully answer the questions and make sure you send good examples of your work because we are funding the art so we'd like to see examples of it whether or not that's a youtube clip of your work in a parade um, or samples or designs so people need to be quite clear about what the project is and answer the questions they're not trick questions they're different questions to ones that you've had on the form before good luck to everyone who's got carnival activities coming up during august and september and then on to the autumn months and the winter carnivals good luck to everyone that's doing those and please don't forget to apply in plenty of time for your to arts council for running activities in 2023 thank you